Hello and welcome to Computer Science 225. My name is Professor Ian Finlayson and I go by Ian with most of my students so you can feel free to just call me Ian. The purpose of this video is to introduce the Computer Science 225 class. We'll talk about the purpose of the course, um, what we're going to be doing, the way that the class is structured, and how you can succeed and do well in it. So the reason for this class, the reason that we require it for our comp science cybersecurity majors is we realized that students were really struggling with doing things in the upper level computer science classes like uh, accessing things on the command line, using the Vim text editor, writing shell scripts, um, even simple things like just downloading it, files and navigating through a file system on the command line using the git version control tool. Students were sort of struggling to learn these things in all of the different classes that use them. And so the purpose of CompSci 225 is to serve as one class where you will get all these skills all in one place. The class will teach you how to log into remote systems on the command line, how to navigate around files and directories, how to um, use the Vim text editor to edit files on, on machines over the command line, uh, to use the git version control tool uh, to write shell scripts and do things like that, sort of tools that are needed in the 300 and 400 level comp sci and cybersecurity classes. If you don't really know what any of those things are, that's perfectly fine. The whole point of this class is to teach you how to do those things. So in this class, we'll learn how to use a set of tools that are useful not only in the computer science curriculum here at Mary Washington, but also when you go out and get a job in the software industry. Um, all of these things are really, really widely used. All right, now we'll talk a little bit about how this class is going to be structured. So for that, we'll come over to the class website, which as you can see is on ianfinlayson.net slash class slash cpsc225. This website is also linked under our Canvas course for CompSci 225. I would suggest making a bookmark in your browser for this web page because pretty much all of the course materials are going to be posted here. The way that this course is structured is it's broken down into 14 weeks. There's 15 weeks in the fall and spring semesters, and so we have one week off, either for Thanksgiving or for spring break, depending on which semester you're taking this class in. So each of these 14 weeks has some topic, some skill or tool that you need to learn and each of these topics, as you click on it, will have a few things. First of all, there will be a video introducing the topic to you and teaching you about the concepts or about the tools that that week covers. Then underneath of the video, there's going to be uh, textual notes alongside of the topic as well. So the intention of this is that the video will teach you the material, but the notes are there also as sort of a reminder or something you can go back and quickly sort of reference. For each of these weeks, there's also a quiz, which is under Canvas. The quizzes are short just to sort of check your understanding for the material of that week. For each of the quizzes, you can submit it as many times as you want to try to get um, a better score, but the deadlines for the quizzes are firm. So for each quiz, it's due at the end of that week. So the quizzes are due on Fridays at five o'clock and I won't generally take uh, any submissions past then. So you can do it as many times as you want, but make sure that you get it by the deadline. There are also five assignments for this course whose due dates are sort of spread throughout to the semester every couple of weeks. Each of these assignments is going to require you to get some hands-on experience using the tool or the system that we're sort of studying throughout the semester. You'll actually submit these on the command line uh, using a tool that I've created and it will give you a grade on your submission pretty much instantly. So these assignments you can also submit as many times as you want to before the deadline to try to do better and to fix your mistakes and improve upon your score. Like the quizzes though, the deadline for these are firm. So if you don't submit the assignment by the time that it is due, then uh, you'll, you'll get a zero for that. So please make sure that you start them early and don't, uh, don't miss the deadlines. The deadlines for these assignments also fall Fridays at five o'clock in the, in the evening. All right, so now we can look at the syllabus to talk about a few other sort of course details and things like that. So as I said, my name is Professor Finlayson or just Ian. Please feel free to email me anytime. My email address is on here. Um, my office and office hours might change depending on the semester that you're taking this in. So uh, please check the syllabus, uh, the live page of it so that you can see where my office is and, and when my office hours are for that semester. Um, 
you should read over the course introduction and goals and objectives and things like that so that you um, get a good sense of what kinds of things we're going to do. I won't read them aloud in this video. There's no required textbook for this class. All of the course material is provided uh, freely on this website. Um, the way that the grades are done for this class is that 30% of your grade comes from the weekly quizzes. So please don't forget the deadlines for those. Each of the 14 weeks has the quiz on Canvas associated with it. You can, like I said, do those as many times as you want to. So as long as you don't miss the deadline, really there's no reason you shouldn't get 100% on those. The homework assignments are those five assignments that I, that I talked about that are due throughout the semester. Each of those is worth 10% of your grade. And like I, I said, just for the quizzes, you can submit those as many times as you want. So if you start early and ask questions on things you're stuck on really, then you can get 100% for that as well. Then finally, there's a final exam for this class, which will be posted around the end of the semester. That's the final 20% of your grade. That exam, you can only take just one time at the end of the semester. Final grades won't be rounded up, and I won't give extra credit opportunities. And like I said, the deadlines for this class are firm, so I won't take late work past the deadlines. Finally, for this class, uh, you can read over the Honor Policy, Disability Statement, Title IX, and Recording Statement. Um, and then at the bottom here, we have the class schedule, which is identical to sort of the, the topics that are here on this main CompSci 225 page. So as this is an online class, you're sort of working more at your own pace and things like that. But um, to do well in this class, I really recommend heavily that you start things early. All of the material is posted here ahead of time so that you can uh, get started right away. You can start submitting the quizzes and the assignments from the very first day of this class. So my number one recommendation to do well in this class is to not procrastinate things. Don't leave things until the deadlines so that if you do run into a problem, you have plenty of time to come and get help. And that's my second piece of advice for doing well in this class is that even though this is an online class and we won't see each other regularly, please, please come to office hours when you're stuck on things or feel free to email me or ask questions on the Canvas discussion boards whenever you're stuck on anything. All right, so the material that we cover in this class, the Linux command line and um, managing processes and using Vim and using Git and writing shell scripts and those kinds of things, I use them all the time, not only as my sort of career as a computer scientist, but also just in my day-to-day -day life using computers. They really um, are really helpful tools that you can use in lots of different lots of different situations. So I hope that learning the material in this class will help you not only succeed in your later comp sci classes and your career as a computer scientist, but also just be really helpful um, to you in your life in general using computers in a more efficient way. So uh, that's sort of the rundown of how this class is going to work and what its purpose is. Um, I'll say again, if you have any questions on anything we've talked about in this video or as you go through the class, if you're stuck on anything or have any questions or um, need help, please, please reach out to me either in office hours or through email. All right. Take care. Thanks.